Recently I made this beautiful card effect using only the Elementor free version. So if you click on the reload page, you can see this beautiful spreading animation and when you move your mouse around, here is the tooltip which says click to view. So after clicking on here, we can see this soothing animation of the image with some extra information. Cool, right? So without any further ado, let's make this amazing effect. Like I said, as we are going to make this only using the free version of Elementor, so we don't need Elementor Pro or any other extra plugin. Now here to create this effect, first of all we need to create a brand new container and make it side to 100% of the viewport which is 100VH and also set a background color. And inside this let's create an heading widget. So drag it to here and change this text. From the style let's align this to the center and also change its design. At the bottom let's also add some margin. After that, here let's create a new container where we will place all of our these cards. So let's strike a new container here and make it to full width. Now inside this, let's create our first card. So drag an another new container inside this and also make it to full width. And set the height and width to 240 by 320 pixel. And initially I want to place all of our these cards one above another at the same place. So for that let's make sure to keep their position to the absolute. And also let's remove these offset values. Now to place it at the middle here, we need to go to its parent container. So if we open the navigator panel, from here we can see this parent container here. So for this one we need to make the align items to the center and also make it side to the same height of the card, 320 pixel. Okay, now inside our this container, we also need to take an inner container to make it work. You need to do this exact same structure, otherwise this card effect may not work properly. Okay? So from here, we can just copy our this container and paste it to inside here. And you can see, as you copy this, we have also copied this option like the height width, this position absolute here. Now from this container, we will add our image as a background. So go to our this background image option and upload our first image. And configure this background image option. Let's make a little bit rounded corner. So from here, make the border radius to 10 and also add some box shadow. Now inside this container, we will add some heading and subheading which will show for our pop-up view. Okay, but before that, I want to adjust this padding here. So for our this container, we need to make its padding to zero. And also I want to place all of our this content vertically on the center here. So go to our this topmost container and from here make this justify content to center. We also don't need any gap here, so make it to zero. And also make sure to keep the overflow hidden so the card will not go outside of this section during any animation. Now let's go back to our this container and inside that let's add an heading widget and change this text. Also change the color and the typography. Let's also create an subheading. So I just want to duplicate this and for this one let's write another text and change its design. Now to place them at the bottom here, let's go to our this container and make this justify content to the end. Also let's reduce this gap here to 5 pixel and also add some paddings. Here for this image, we can see this text properly but if you upload a lighter image, in that case you may get in trouble to see this. For that I always prefer to add some background overlay behind this kind of text. So go to our this background overlay option and I want to add some gradient overlay. So let's make this first color to fully transparent and make the second color to black. Now that looks perfect. So our first card is fully done. Now we can create our other cards 
just by easily duplicating our this container but before duplicating it's always better to check its responsiveness for the tablet and the mobile devices because if i duplicate first and then do the responsive work then we need to do that responsive work again for our duplicated content okay so for the tablet it looks good and for the mobile device here we need to fix this width so go to here and make it to again 240 pixel and also let's reduce this padding here so go to this padding option and make it to 20 by 15 pixel okay and with this card i also want to fix our this heading so i want to reduce its size to 40 pixel let's also reduce this gap and also make some padding for our this topmost container okay now let's go back to our desktop and here now we can just duplicate our this container a couple more times and after duplicating let's change the content and here for this layout as all of our this container place one above another so from here you may not change it directly but with the help of the navigator panel you can easily change all the content and all the images okay we have changed all the content and all these images and here for these images you can only upload the jpg format images because for this animation if you use pngs for some browsers this animation may not work properly which is very weird and honestly i don't know the exact reason so here you always should use the jpg images so the card section is done now finally i want to add two things firstly our tooltip which will show when you're hovering on these images and also a close icon which will be only showing for our that pop-up view so first let's create this tooltip for this we need a button widget let's drag it to right after our this heading widget here and change this text first of all let's change its typography and change its color so make this text color to black and also change this background to white and a little bit semi-transparent make a rounded corner so make the border radius to 100 pixel and also add some padding now to make it a full circle we need to give it same height and width so from here let's make it a custom width 90 pixel and also need to set the height to 90 pixel but as there is no height option for Elementor, so we will also do that with our custom code. For now, I want to just make its position to the absolute and place it over here. On mobile, I want to keep this whole thing simple. We don't want any card effect or our this tooltip. So from here, with our responsive option, I want to hide this from our mobile devices. Okay, next we will add an icon widget for our that close icon. So let's drag it right after our this button widget and first of all let's change this icon to this close icon change its color and also give an white background to make it a rounded corner make this border radius to 100 pixel and finally to place it over here let's make its position to the fix from the right make it to 40 pixel and also from the top make it 40 and also let's make sure to keep a higher z index to place it above our other content like this button we also don't want to show this for mobile so let's also hide this from here so we have done almost everything now finally before adding our custom code we need to add some classes with some of our elements so first with our this container we need to add the class mdw card effect section then with our this heading let's add mdw card effect heading for this button make it to mdw card effect info for this icon mdw card effect close and lastly for our this container make it to mdw card effect so finally let's add an html widget and drag it to here right before our this heading widget let's paste this code snippet if we save this and see it from our preview we can see this beautiful inference animation we can see this hover effect with our this tooltip 
And also, after clicking, this effect is also perfectly working. And from the tablet and the mobile devices, it looks really perfect. So that's how you can make this cool card effect on your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.